Hi, my name is David Aidozi, Auto Certified Instructor on Maya. This video will show you what is Maya Pro 2.0. Maya Pro is a new user experience for everyone who use, already use Maya and for what start to use Maya. This is because make uh, Maya, the use of Maya more faster or more easy to, uh, to to learn and understand. So try to dip in. So what how you can install first for for first thing. Yeah, my your copy of my name. After download from link below, you have this zip file. Instead of this zip file, you have two directory. More impo most important, it based on your version of Maya. And um, if I go in the in the cock directory, for example, under Windows, it documents Maya, and uh, I can backup or not this directory. Now I want to backup and copy that. Um, make attention. This is the easy way to install. You can uh, find uh, in my in my YouTube YouTube time channel another video when I show you you can how to merge Maya Pro with your existing configuration. After that, you need to run up Maya, and voila, everything is set up correctly. Very easy to start up to start off. Uh, after opening, it, you need to uh, start to learning some uh, key. I will show you immediately how to do that. Before before I show you, you the what's new in my uh, what's happening in my Pro, I want to show you the classic way to work. I need to go to my menu in top bar or and select my menu set from here or using the hotbox by pressing space and release, but it's it's not so simple. So you need I, if I need to create a cube, I need to press space, create uh, polygon primitives and now cube. Alright. Not more not 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 a lot simple. So I will show you how you can do it in the Menem Pro style. So press Z and keep it, uh, middle mouse button and go to north, uh, go to west, uh, select the cube and drag and create your cube. Very fast, very easy. Now when you have an object probably you want to uh, make some smoothing on it so in the classic way look at the space, find the correct, uh, correct place for, z for, for this uh, Menu and I not not I don't know where exactly he is this mode so try to use my name pro Z left mouse button go to south and voila you have your smooth I think so very easy very fast way to do that all right when you have an object uh, probably you want to change so in this case is uh, it's it's too thin for my my needle so I press R and go a little bit more scale but what I want to really do is uh, make some sculpting on it so of course in space find scalp menu where is sculpt I don't remember really sculpt tools okay find or select your object Z left mouse button and as you can see here I have uh, not the, the, menu the, the same menu before for smoothing I will go to north and from here I have this my scalp geometry so finally I can do some fine sculpting on my mesh or I want to now want to enable the symmetry for example Z and middle mouse button look at that if you're using a supported tool the Z middle mouse button that before is used by all merch menu uh, is now for the tool marking menu. So go to symmetry, for example, one enable the symmetry, and voila, I have my symmetry. Or uh, if I want to make some flood, I need to press Z, middle mouse button, go to sculpt option, and from here I can do some fl float. Float is uh, uh, automatic uh, uh, sculpting based normal based uh, the current tool enable. So it's a very interesting way to to work with my. Alright, I need to close this one, so I press ALT and T. If uh, I press ALT and O, for example, the outliner, and if I press ALT and A, I have the attribute editor. If I press ALT and C, I have sun and box, so very fast way to do. If I press ALT and M, I have my model kit, ALT and U, I have the UV toolkit, so very fast, very easy way to, to moving inside of my Pro, I think so. Very great. I will show you another thing. So, um, I show you the all marking menu, Z middle mouse button. I show you the single selection marking menu, show you immediately. I can the cube, uh, Z, this is a single selection, Z left mouse button, some smooth again. Alright, great. Now I want to duplicate this element, this object. So I open up my Alt and O, open up my Outliner, Z and left mouse button. Look at this. Now, because I am in a panel, I have the ability to have another merge menu based on this panel, the outliner. Go to North, 
now can duplicate it W for moving, right, I'm moving this way now select the two objects in this, uh, in this shape Z, left mouse button and now uh, you can see I have another murky menu in this case the boolean ones now I want to make a differences this is uh, um, uh, my, my custom script uh, in int interactive booleans now you can see I can select my object I can move around and I can have the, the, this information so I show you almost everything about Mercimino you can use a single selection, multiple selection you can use Z with the mouse button to help all Mercimino on some tools, on selected tools Z with the mouse button to lock to Mercimino panels, you have the ability to use panels Mercimino but there is more for example, I have uh, adding some hotkey based on selection. I want to show you immediately. If I create a cube and press Z and release, I can now select a face. But if I press Z and release again, I have come back inside of object mode. So make it Z, release Z is uh, the way I can do this. I can uh, uh, toggling on and off. In this case, the selection of components or come back in object mode but if I am on a panel like this press Z and release as you can see I have the ability to open up my mesh elements so very important very very powerful but uh, if I try to do that inside of uh, for example the node editor alt n2 for going inside of node editor press Z as you can see it graph me my selection so absolutely fast way to work but uh, exactly what I why and uh, what is the this space inside of of my of my UI is called layout. Layout is a, um, a docker panel that let me use some advanced editor. I want to show you how you can use your layout. Press Z middle mouse button, go to south, and from here you have your layout. For example, if I try to animate this element, W moving S, uh, go go over in the time, moving as again, as you can see now you have animation if I want to tweak this animation I need to go Z, middle mouse button, go to south and want to use the graph editor so now I have my graph cure for my animation very fast, very way to do very, way, very fast way to work if I press Z and release it adds me an, an, an new, a new, hot, a new, uh, a new keyframe all right, and I continue to work in this way um, very fast way Another way to work using the using the layout is press Alt, press one, two, three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine. To uh, from one to zero on your keyboard with Alt key, you can have access to all ten uh, layout I already I already create for for main April. So I think so is almost everything. Of course, uh, when you download, you have. Uh, a PDF guide that uh, I suggest you to, to read before continue, before start, but uh, I think so this video is really is really, is really, is really complete. So I hope you have a great day and bye.